Hey guys, welcome back to another episode here. We're back here on the dealership series and you may notice that we have the semi out front and a couple things have changed around here. Well, a couple things have sold. So I actually just put this XJ here, or I guess MJ, out front last night. I didn't really know where to put it. I was going to put it realistically inside the showroom here, but it wouldn't fit because it's obviously too tall. So moved a few things around here this being one of them and then the Tacoma stayed where it was the I brought this Dodge Ram outside uh, took the SEMA trucks off the Dodge Ram and I did I that actually on video last video yeah and yeah now they're up here so these two are for sale now i hate to sell the ford out of both of them i love the c10 as well do not get me wrong but i just hate to sell the ford I just love this truck anyways i don't know might also sell the dodge the tow rig i mean we've had it for a while before sema and we did take it to sema this is one of actually this was pretty much our major tow rig for the shop here other than the semi but I don't know I think we're gonna end up selling it soon here but we did end up moving some things around and I'll just go inside the shop here these probably should have been switched around the Ford probably should have been here and the Dodge should have probably been where the Ford is but it is what it is right now I uh, did put these two together just kind of for display not really my favorite display but not my least favorite and then I put the Dodge up on the trailer. I know I'm gonna get so much hate for this but uh, yes I put the Dodge up on the trailer and bought another gooseneck trailer here and put it on the, f the back end of the Ford here so honestly not a bad haul but wouldn't mind to have another like maybe an F-150 on the top here like a race maybe a lightning or something the older lightnings but meanwhile we are going to be loading up this MJ and this Tacoma because they are both officially sold. So if you guys don't remember a while back, we did build this 20, I can't remember what year this thing is, 2018 Toyota Tacoma and that 1990s, I want to say something, MJ, but now they are both sold and odd enough, they are going to the same owner. Now this guy is pretty rich and he lives down in Minnesota, I think, something like that. So yeah, these got a little bit of a haul, but not much that an old or uh, old semi can do or can't do, I guess. But damn, the flex on this thing looks like so good. Honestly, probably one of my favorite uh, kind of off-road kind of m mud terrain, I guess, builds that we've ever built. I believe this thing used to have a box on the back of it. Oh, I just hit our flag. But I believe it used to have a box on it. Obviously, it wasn't always this tall and was more of a stock truck. I think it had a box anyways. But meanwhile, we come along. We take a perfectly good... Oh, actually, it was kind of rotted out, I think. We take a perfectly good truck somewhat and, uh, yeah, make it not something you can use every day but these are meanwhile going to get loaded up here i'm going to send our hotshot guy on the way and we're going to get on our way to look at some trucks here all right guys so we are on our way now just let this warm up quickly all right that's enough time but we are on our way to go look at another truck of course because we kind of do need more actually i was moving the trucks around on the inside yesterday of the shop and i was thinking we kind of need more trucks so i bought another truck well i guess we're going to go look at it hopefully i'm buying another truck it's just down the road here i also got an old farm to go look at this guy's getting rid of a whole bunch of like his old vehicles so i mean we're gonna go check that out here shortly but this 
is the truck right here actually so I'm just gonna pull up right here even though I know this is the wrong side of the road and it shouldn't be pulling up yada 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 um but we're gonna try not to hit another fence as that is the second one in this video but yeah so anyway so this is a 2006 Dodge Ram 2500 mega cab I saw this pop up online on marketplace for 2500 and there's a reason why it's so cheap now you might be looking at it thinking wow this thing has like no rust no dents nothing like that but it does have the line x which is pretty nice we'll end up probably scraping that off but uh original back bumper everything back here is original but the grill and the bumper are not now this thing is a salvage it is these aren't the original parts clearly to it this thing wasn't an accident i don't know i think it was like five years ago or something like that and yeah it's still ha doesn't have color matched parts which is okay because we are going to be changing that but i'm going to try and go inside here offer him like i don't know 2300 i don't know 2500 isn't that bad and honestly 2300 isn't really much of a difference but for a mega cab i don't know depends on how it drives too so oh no i think maybe we'll test drive it first if he lets us all right yeah sounds good bud i'll be back in about give or take a couple minutes all right so um we got the keys to this and we're gonna test drive it now let's look at the interior it's pretty clean honestly starts up pretty nice too so uh let's just uh take this thing out on a quick drive here now i do have a couple things in mind for this truck one i kind of got them built inside my head i've had this truck in mind i'm talking in real life here i've had this truck in mind for a while now i'm just gonna go and do a u-turn in this random person's driveway but i've had plans with a mega cab in real life and even though these aren't going to be the exact same rims and tires I'm going to throw into this truck that I would like to in real life. I'm going to try and make it as close as possible. Uh, but yeah, I honestly think drives nice for its price. I don't even think I'm going to lowball them. Or I guess ask for 2300 But I don't know. Maybe it's worth a try. It was salvage, but I don't know. Tough call on what to do. All right, guys. So we just scored this truck down for twenty four hundred. He was able to go down a hundred dollars. I know that wasn't really much, but I mean, it's still a hundred dollars in the end of the day. So it's better than nothing. But yeah, pretty nice guy. But uh, we're gonna get this thing loaded up onto the trailer, and then I think we're going to head back to the shop, get this thing on the lift for the guys to start working on, and then. I'm gonna end up doing some paperwork. I think tomorrow we're gonna end up hitting that uh, barn up so we can check that out, see what we want. I think there's about three or four vehicles there for us to check out. So that should be kind of interesting. Not to mention, I don't think we've really done any barn finds. Oh, sorry, man. And before anyone asks, yes, I did ask him if I could like back up onto the back up onto his uh, lawn here and he did say that is perfectly fine because this road has crazy people that drive on it every day so yeah okay and I just hit a fence again count that as three times in this video anyways I'm gonna get back to the shop here and I'll catch you guys back in a short second all right guys so we are just about at the farm here I did just drop off the truck but I believe it's this turn right here I believe he said the first farm on the left right after the town so yep this is the place for sure so he gave me full permission just to kind of look around the property and uh, apparently go in any of the buildings I don't know I've never had really anyone like that but I don't know anyways so first off I'm seeing an old what is this Ford Ranger I'll say this is an old Ford Ranger off-brand Ford Ranger maybe but uh, pretty clean interior not bad 
and ooh, no way, this is what I think it is. Nice, we got an old first gen. It looks like uh, what year? Let's say that's a '91 or '92. Got the old classic handles on here. You never see those anymore. Or the and the CB whips on it. I'm gonna go this way here. We got the bug guard or bug shield. Bug shield, I guess. We got little metal steps. You never see those ones either. Uh, hitch is as beautiful as day though, or I guess hitch connector or whatever you want to call those. Uh, truck is dirty, so it needs a wash. I didn't even notice the stripe going right across it. That's pretty cool. Honestly, I don't think we're going to get all these vehicles today, but uh, he said this one doesn't have anything. Yeah, this doesn't have anything, but uh, oh well. This must have, um, the doors must have either fallen off. I'm going to say they're roller doors, so they must have either just uh, completely broken or just, uh, I don't know what would have happened, but uh, he did try and kind of block this area off as much as possible so that's pretty crafty I guess but he did come out here earlier and unlock all the doors so I believe he said this door opens what are the odds we just sold a box truck and what are the odds that we're going to possibly be getting another box truck in I don't know I kind of want this and I kind of want to keep it on the box truck too so the frame looks from what I can see decent doesn't look like it has too much rust in it, if any. Uh, this thing's caked in literally dirt, so. And is this thing, it is open. Wow. Okay, so the inside's a little dirty. Seat is, like, beautiful. Same as the dash. But, yeah, beautiful truck. Wow, I think this is definitely going to be on our list. Wow. Anyways, let's uh, open this up here. Okay, we'll get to this in a sec, but he did say there was kind of a rarish kind of vehicle. I mean, all these are kind of rare vehicles, but especially that one right out there. I don't even know what that thing is, but um, yeah, there's this thing, which looks to be kind of lifted. We've had a couple caravans, actually more than a couple, in the past at the dealership, whether it's this location, whether it's... Our first location, I can't remember the name of that map. Um, or I think it was our last location. We didn't really have any there. We may have had one or two. But we've had in total, I'd say about six of them. This would probably be our seventh. But, um, yeah, no, this would be awesome. I mean, do another stupid build. That wouldn't be a bad idea. But, let's get to this thing right here. Um... This looks to be, I think, a 1984 or 85 Toyota Hilux. Has the gas tank right there. E can't really, it's a manual. So that's pretty cool. Looks like it did have the cutouts at one point for a plow mount. I don't know if it ever had a plow mount on it. It doesn't really look like it did. Uh, we got the wheels, which definitely have some wear and tear on them, so I'm going to say those would have to be replaced. Keep in mind, like, none of these vehicles have probably ran in the last, like, I'm going to say 15, 20 years. Maybe other than this caravan, and maybe that green truck outside, I don't know. But, uh, I'm definitely going to say this has been here for, like, at least 20 years. Like, it's just caked in, in the bushes. But, I think before we go and kind of... I'm just going to close this door here. I think before we go and purchase or try and get any of these out, I'm going to head to the dealership, or I guess the supplier, not the dealership, the supplier, and I'm going to pick up a winch. Now, it won't be the prettiest winch, but it'll get the job out and done for getting these vehicles out of here. But I think we'll be back, and I'll catch you guys back when we are coming back to this property here. Alright guys, so we are back here with the hook in the back and the winch on the front. As you can tell, it's not really color matching, but I need something visible for this. Um, so, I did talk to the guy quickly, just inside there, and he did say that the Chevy here is, like, he's only going to give him, he wants, like, I 
think it was like 200 for it so we're gonna take this and pull it out I think we're gonna go from that side though and yank it we're probably gonna do this from the back which is probably not a good idea but when I say from the back we're literally gonna like drag this thing out from behind so that should be kind of exciting um, is he gonna have a hook on this thing? It does not look like we have a hook, so let me see if he has a hitch or there's a hitch inside of it. And if there is, we'll uh, grab that out and we'll connect this thing up to the hitch. Alright guys, so I did check with him and he doesn't have a hitch. But uh, he did give me the keys for it and he did tell me to try and start it, see if that maybe works. I don't know, I don't think it's going to start, but uh, if it does, this is going to be one heck of a magic truck, or a strong truck for sure. It did try, it did sound like it wanted to start there. Nope. Oh, it shifted a little bit, I did press the gas and it did shift. I think it's going now, yep, here we go. Oh my god, this thing looks so good. I mean, it would look so much better without the dirt, but... I don't know, just something about an old square body shove. But I think we're going to get this thing out here. And it just died on us. That's not good. So I think it's definitely going to need a new battery. That's definitely one of the things. Because it keeps wanting to die on us. So... We'll definitely have to get a new battery. But in the meanwhile, let's try and get... I don't know, I kind of want to say let's get this uh, first gen out of here. Even though it doesn't have a hitch either. Apparently none of these trucks have hitches on them. Which I guess isn't the worst thing, but... Uh, this truck does. So, he said the Hilux, he did try and fire up. I think it was like a year or two ago and it does not work. So, it doesn't even have a battery under it, the hood, I believe. So... Yeah, I guess we're going to have to try and pull this one out. So, um, let's just, uh, just put this thing wrong in area. Just go and put this right here. And we'll get this connected up. Alright guys, so we are getting this thing connected. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't hit any of the walls. I don't think it matters. I think he said something about literally this whole property was changing or something like that. Even though I, though for this truck, I don't really want to hit the walls because this is kind of a rare truck to get parts for. Let alone custom parts, but we'll pull through. So anyways, um, y'all who talk bad on Dodge, I don't know if that's really a, nah, JK, just kidding with y'all. But, uh, no, seriously, uh, this is going to be the first Toyota Hilux, I believe second Toyota that we've even had at the shop, so this is going to be kind of cool, it would be kind of cool to have this next to the Tacoma, or even a uh, Tacoma, just to see kind of the difference, I know they're two different trucks, but it'd just be kind of cool to see. So we've got this thing now. I think this is all we're going to be able to honestly fit onto the trailer, because there's, let's say this one goes up to here, yeah, I mean, we're going to struggle with just putting two on here, so, I think this is all we're going to honestly be able to do here, but, I think I'm going to get these things winched up over here, and we'll catch you guys when these things are, or maybe actually when we're heading back to the shop. Alright guys, so we are headed back to the shop now as I'm hitting the curb horribly. I guess this is a sign to look ahead. But, um, we got both the, sh the shop trucks, so both the trucks on the trailer here, and we are headed back. Now, I don't think we're going to get any, both of these done, or actually any of them done, this video, but hopefully next video we get at least, um, I was going to say maybe the Chevy, but I think we're going to try and get the Hilux first, um, done. I don't know, I have a couple plans for the Hilux, so if you have any plans for the Chevy, let me down let me know down below. 
I definitely want to keep that box on the back. And if we don't keep it on this, I definitely want to use it on another truck. But, I don't know. Maybe we'll Duramax swap the Chevy. I don't know. Maybe that's a thing we should kind of consider doing. Meanwhile, I'm going to get these things unloaded. And I'll catch you guys back when we are putting the Chevy on the lift here. Alright guys, so we have made it back here. A Hilux is over there, kind of slanted on the lift. And we got the Chevy pushed in here. We're going to give these things both baths. I think in the next episode, those things, these things will both get baths. But meanwhile, the guys have gotten this thing already pretty much um, lifted up to its max it's going to sit on. We got rock lights in there. So uh, honestly, we were going to put wheel lights in there, but I don't think we will. I don't know. Meanwhile, that thing's got to change a lot. We also got something in the paint booth here that I've been hiding for, from you guys for a while. So, uh, you guys have seen it in the previous videos, but uh, it, may, it kind of got an overhaul again. So, uh, yeah, let's further ado. Let's get to work on this Dodge Ram here. Alright guys, so I have shifted some things around here. So, this is the second gen that we did, like rebuild. We rebuilt everything. We added an axle dump. We were gonna go with a bed stack, but decided not to. Uh, crazy tune, crazy air filters. So this thing rolls a lot of coal. I think more than our semi does. Uh, we still got our Bradford bed. I replaced the custom headlights that were already on it because I didn't really care for them. Put fourth gen style tow mirrors on it. We also, oh, wrong one. Also got a sound system in the back here, uh, JBL, and uh, I think that's all we really did to it. We did crazy lights, like literally there are crazy amount of lights on this thing. Let you guys listen to it. Yeah, it's, it does not sound normal. This is not a normal truck. It does have a crazy turn on it. But... Uh, as for the Mega Cab, which I've actually switched onto the trailer, I've taken the other truck, which is right over there, off, and we've got the Chevy bed off, so we've kind of got it sitting on these little temporary stands, but, uh, yeah, we put this truck inside, I switched the wheels off of it, because, uh, I don't know, it was time for some change, so I put on some Liberty Forge that we had laying around, we put those wheels on this truck, so, uh, yeah, we got uh, the American Forces on here, blacked out roof, uh, stock tail lights. I don't know, I might change them in the future. Custom headlights, uh, we painted everything, so we pretty much put a chrome wrap over the red paint that was on this grill, and then we repainted the front bumper and custom cab lights on the top. We also did a starlight headliner, so that's pretty cool one of the guys thought maybe we should add one of those so I'm glad we did um, we didn't oh, we didn't uh, do anything too fancy this is actually we did throw on the rock lights we were gonna put wheel lights on but decided not to we also left the exhaust stock so still sounds the same that's probably the only thing that we have left completely stock on this truck but uh, I don't know. Let me know which one you guys like more. Do you like this truck? Or do you guys like the original tow rig over here? I mean, I love that truck. Don't get me wrong. I think that was one of our cleanest third gen builds. But I still have a lot of love for this truck. Still debating on what to do with this thing. If I should sell it or not. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to hit that like button as always. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace.